coincidence. Um, I had given uh, 211 crisis hotline some uh, emails and I wanted to kind of know who was overseeing them and the screening of the volunteers and that she wouldn't give me any information so she wanted to scare me so she contacted you when the original issue was I felt discriminated against so she kind of turned on me and made it look like I was harassing when I was basically, you know, in a civil society asking for, you know, information um, because I felt like she just kind of threw me away because I'm gay and I have a DUI. So um, I wanted to meet with you in person because I really enjoyed the conversation with you and I've really been meditating and I just feel like in social order and social control and exchange of power, um, I have a lot to offer and this town needs me. And my phone number is 805-595-1982. I wanted to meet with you at the police department, sit down with you and you meet me and I can tell you um, And, and I can talk with you about this because um, I have a friend that asked if I was going to sue 211. So um, Frederick Nietzsche was never vanilla, Sigmund Freud was never vanilla. So um, Linda told me I need to be vanilla to be a volunteer. And I don't know. Well, oh, this is some, it's part of my religion. Um, basically, when we're talking about social order and social control and exchange of power, we want to put all of that aside and just get to the emotion and managing the emotion. And oftentimes when people are annoyed by people, not harassed, Okay, but annoyed and feeling uncomfortable because that person's getting to the bottom of some really great information, they pick up the phone and they call the police. And they have the police make a courtesy phone call and they tried to build, build a whole case around harassment when nobody was even harassed. <clears throat> when people are not being honest, what they do is they tend to use people who are honest, like maybe a police force a peace officer, somebody in authority to come in with not the full information and start bullying people around and that's what's happened in this situation. Now um, 211 is a really great organization no doubt but when people call oftentimes the volunteer or someone on the other end needs to be very non-biased and very neutral but with enough passion to start working with people if there is a need and there is an open door to do that, such as counseling alternatives, etc. You don't have to be a licensed psychotherapist, you don't have to be a licensed social worker nor be in a graduate program that's on a, a licensure track to go ahead and contribute to your community in crisis. I personally am working around um, substance abuse and high suicide, poverty and addictions counseling that I find in the gay community and um, I, I wanted to kind of get 211 on my resume because it's a really outstanding organization and I just came in very opinionated because I'm, I'm knowledgeable on social justice education and I am uh, plentiful when you sit me down in a, communi you know, in, a, in, in a communicative manner and ask questions, I let you pick my brain. And while I have a possible discrimination case, a 2-1-1's turned on me and they're trying to make it look like they have a harassment case on me. Okay, none of this is even about harassment. It's about treating somebody 
lesser than what they are, and that is social inequality here. Okay, um, in social justice measure, we want people to stand up for their rights. We want people to know they have a voice. They have the freedom to ask questions to whomever, to the police department, to 211, to your professor at college, to the Church of Satanism in San Francisco, to the Mormons, to the gay people, to, to, to all the social institutions. Okay. I'm doing some writing right now, and it's, it's in some notes in the other room, but I'm going to close with this, and it's, it's, on, it's on some of the notes I've taken. The criminal justice system has become a closed society that hates people. And what it does is it nitpicks, it gets your money, and then it spits you out, and it never helps you. It only exploited you. And a lot of people that go through um, hurdles and hurdles working around um, intervention or an arrest or being bullied by the wrong phone calls that were made to intimidate you, there is post-traumatic stress. There's a psychology to this. Okay, So you want to make friends, not enemies, with your social institutions, with your law enforcement, with everything. So that when um, there is a, a, a bit of information that is being related, you don't feel overlooked. You don't feel like emo, emotive, um, emotionally rejected. But you can stand on your two feet and, and not, not cloud your mind with, oh my god, this is the end of the world, you know. Um, people like power. People like respect. People will demand respect from you to get power over you. Okay? I want you to be really, really, really intuitive, clairvoyant. That's okay. That's part of the, uh, the transparent psychology that we're looking at in Hume psychologists and things like this. And, and, and you know people that will work with you, analysts, etc. Um, call me at one eight zero five five nine five one nine eight two. We have really great things that are happening, and I would like you to get involved around social justice. Thank you.